Greetings and welcome to our video on working capital management. In this informative presentation, we will explore the strategies and best practices that businesses can utilize to effectively manage their working capital. I have discussed what is working capital in my previous video. If you want to know what working capital is, make sure to check out that video first. Working capital management is a critical aspect of financial planning and control aimed at optimizing the utilization of current assets and liabilities. By implementing sound working capital management techniques, businesses can enhance cash flow, improve operational efficiency, and strengthen their overall financial health. Now come to process of working capital management. The process of working capital management typically involves several steps, which may vary depending on the specific needs and circumstances of a company. Let's discuss a basic outline of the typical working capital management process. Step 1. Assessing working capital needs. The first step in working capital management is to assess the company's working capital needs. This involves analyzing the company's current assets and liabilities, identifying any potential shortfalls or areas of excess, and forecasting future cash flows. Step 2. Setting working capital targets. Based on the assessment of working capital needs, the company can set working capital targets. These targets should reflect the company's short-term financial goals, taking into account factors such as cash reserves, inventory levels, and payment terms. Step 3. Developing working capital strategies. With working capital targets in place, the company can develop strategies to optimize its working capital. This may involve strategies such as reducing inventory levels, improving cash flow management, or negotiating better payment terms with suppliers. Step 4. Implementing working capital strategies. Once the working capital strategies have been developed, the company can begin to implement them. This may involve changes to internal processes and procedures, such as improving inventory management practices or negotiating new payment terms with vendors. Step 5. Monitoring and adjusting. Working capital management is an ongoing process, and it is important to monitor progress regularly and make adjustments as needed. This may involve tracking cash flows, inventory levels, and payment terms, and then adjusting strategies accordingly. By following these steps, a company can effectively manage its working capital and improve its short term financial health. If you find the video helpful, give it a like, that will be helpful for this channel. Let's move on to objectives of working capital management. The primary objective of working capital management is to ensure that a company has enough working capital to fund its day-to-day -day operations. In addition to this primary objective, there are several other important objectives of working capital management, including Maximizing profitability by optimizing the balance between current assets and liabilities, a company can improve its profitability by minimizing the amount of working capital tied up in non-productive assets and maximizing the return on invested capital. Minimizing the cost of capital. By effectively managing working capital, a company can reduce the need for short-term financing, which can be more expensive than long-term financing. This can help to minimize the cost of capital and improve the company's overall financial health. Managing risk. Working capital management can help to minimize the risk of financial distress by ensuring that a company has enough cash reserves to cover unexpected expenses and weather any financial downturns. Improving cash flow. By optimizing inventory levels, managing accounts receivable and accounts payable, and monitoring cash flows, a company can improve its cash flow and reduce the need for external financing. If you want to read in detail or download the PDF, go through the link in the description. Suggest me any topic, feel free to send it on Instagram or by email, and don't forget to subscribe to Education Leaves.